Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So I don't know if you can see behind me, but I'm getting pretty tired of staring at this pink board in the shop. And today we're gonna to start a project to do something about it. So I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier this spring, we finished this back wall here with Live Edge Slab Cherry because Kyle from Spicer Designs made us this beautiful Hometown Acres metalwork sign. And that kind of gave us the kick in the pants we needed to finish this back corner here. But the rest of the garage, as you can see, is still just our unfinished pink board. It's only R7.5, but for what we're doing out here in the shop with the wood stove, it's going to let us hold enough heat to keep it, you know, 60, 65 degrees out here when we're working. But it is ugly. And as you can see, over the last couple of months, we've added some other additional pieces of equipment, namely this 20-inch Grizzly planer. And we've also got our dust collection system set up. We haven't really talked about this yet. We'll cover that in another video. But the plan is we've got some pine logs we're gonna mill up. We have the equipment to give ourselves a nice wall covering in here. So we're gonna go mill up some one by six material on the sawmill, let it dry for 60 to 90 days, bring it up here, run it through the planer. Uh, the plan is to eventually get a joiner as well. And then I'd like to do vertical uh, pine paneling on the inside of the garage here and leave it almost a natural color. And that'll give us a nice contrast from the back corner here with the live edge cherry slabs it'll transition to just vertical pine all the way around the garage. So here's the pile of pine logs we're gonna be working from. Actually, a subscriber to the channel reached out to us. He does a lot of maple syrup and he said, hey, I've got a bunch of pine trees growing in my maple trees. I'm gonna do some thinning. Would you be interested in the logs? And I said, I don't know what I'd use them for yet, but I will definitely take them. I will find a use for them somewhere. And it's probably been about five or six months since he dropped these off. And now we've got a use for them inside the garage. You can see a lot of them are smaller diameter. There's some good size ones in here. But uh, actually the smaller diameter logs are a lot easier to work with. When you start getting into these big 30, 35 inch logs like these oak logs we have down here, yes, there's a lot more wood in them, but they are a handful. You can't turn them by hand. You've got to use the equipment to help you out. And uh, these, these smaller logs, even though there's not as much wood in them, they're a lot easier to maneuver, turn, and do all that by hand. So we've already got one log on here. We're gonna go ahead and fire up the sawmill and start ripping some one by fours, one by sixes, whatever we can get out of these logs, throw them on the pallet fork, sticker them, let them dry, and then we'll be using them up in the garage.
over the last few days, as time allowed, I came down here and I've got a total of probably about eight hours milling up all these boards. I've got a total of 50 one by six by, I'm going to call them 10 footers. Some of them are 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half. It was just kind of whatever length the tree was. And that, that'll give me some extra room because I don't know if you can tell, but on the ends here, they'll start cracking and stuff. And the chainsaw work on the end of that one, that's probably where the tree was taken down, the notch cut. So I've got some extra room to play with to square these up. And then I've got about 16 one by six by seven footers. And uh, I just checked Home Depot's website. These right now are going for about $17 a piece. And if those were eight footers, they'd be going for about $10 a piece. So if you multiply that all out, that works out to a little over $1,000 worth of lumber sitting there right now that I milled in eight hours. Now, I'm not going to be as naive to say that I could sell these right now for $1,000. Uh, Home Depot stuff is going to be kiln dried. It's going to be squared off and edged on all four sides. And But the good news is by the time I'm done with these, they will be. I'm going to let them dry out here for 60 to 90 days. They'll be good and dry. I've got a planer so I can flatten them. And like I said earlier, my plan is to eventually add a joiner so I'll be able to join these. And even if I don't get a joiner by the time I'm ready to start that project in the garage, uh, our friend Keith said he'd let us borrow his joiner for a little while to get these cleaned up. So while I wouldn't be able to turn around and sell these for $1,000, they are going to save me from going to Home Depot and spending about $1,000. And then for anybody who's curious what the scrap pile looks like off of that much lumber, there it is. I think we mill somewhere between 9 and 10 logs, so you figure you got four slabs off of each log, somewhere between 36 and 40 slabs sitting there which will be perfect for running through the firewood processor and selling as outdoor camp firewood next summer. And another thing I know people are gonna ask is, are you planning on covering this? Yes, we've got a tarp sitting on top of uh, our 10 footers. I need to run up to the garage, go get a tarp for the seven footers. And then I'm gonna to try to add as much weight on top of here as I can to keep them from cupping and warping and twisting and all that so anyways guys i think that's going to about wrap this one up like i said we're going to leave this pile of pine sit out here for two or three months to air dry which should put us well into winter and it'll be a good project to work indoors in between our sled riding and ice skating if you guys enjoyed this one and you want to see the inside of the garage get finished off click that subscribe button and i hope to see you on the next one thanks for watching